In this video, I'm going to show you a demonstration of the basic steps to enameling. The first thing you need to do is clean your metal. So block the drain in the sink so your metal doesn't fall down the drain. And make sure that you're wearing rubber gloves for this process. The oils of your skin will get on the metal if you don't, and that defeats the purpose of cleaning the metal. So we use Barkeeper's Friend um, for our soap and a green scrubby. And just scrub a dub dub, scrub both sides of the metal and the edges of the metal really thoroughly until when you run it under the water, the water just slides off the metal in one sheet instead of uh, pooling in certain areas. If it uh, doesn't slide off in one sheet, continue to scrub until all the oils are gone. Once your metal is clean, go over to the enameling area and you're going to coat the front side of your metal with what is called Scalex. This helps prevent fire scale, which is a discoloration of the metal um, during the first firing. You only need this when there is no enamel on your metal. So once you have your first couple coats of enamel, then you do not need to worry about using Scalex. Put the Scalex on um, in a nice thick coat. It should completely cover one side of your metal. And you can see it's pretty easy to make a mess while doing it. It should be about that thick, and the other side is plain and still clean. Go ahead and put your pieces or piece on a trivet and set it on top of the enameling kiln to dry. When it is dry, it will be a light gray color. Then you're ready for your counter enamel, which is what we call the enamel that we put on the back of the metal. First, you will use a holding agent and just paint that or spray that on your metal so that the enamel sticks. Then grab your counter enamel, and this is the back side, so it really doesn't matter what color you use, and that's why we use counter enamel because it's just a mixture of like the leftover enameling powders that have gotten mixed up. Use the sifter and get, um, well, just get the right kind of layer of enamel on there. They say three grains of enamel is perfect. Here I have fired it, and you can see that the, um, the scale X just pops right off after the firing. So clean up that mess, and then come back over to the sink, use Barkeeper's Friend, and scrub that uh, little bit of fire scale because you will have some scrub it off of your metal. Now you have one side that is counter enamel and one side that has nothing but it is clean. We will again paint it with the holding agent and give it a nice coat You can see I'm using a trivet to set my metal on, and that just helps me grab the metal. Okay, now we're going to put enamel on that side of the metal. So you need to set up your enameling station. Get a piece of magazine paper. I use magazine because it's nice and slick and fold it in half. If you're using, if you're going to use multiple colors, get one paper for each color. Otherwise the colors will get mixed up and you'll just make more counter enamel. I'm working on two pieces in this example. So put your metal that you've treated with the holding agent on a trivet 
and get um, an enamel powder screen for each color that you'll be using. Then choose your colors. And you put the color in the screen. Well, the screen is sitting on that magazine paper. And then you just use your thumb to get a nice coat of powder. Remember, you're going for three layers of enameling grain. That is a difficult thing to measure. So it's a little bit of trial and error here. Now you can see I have a big mess. I'm going to move my metal piece over to the trivet and let it dry on top of the enameling kiln. And meanwhile, clean up my mess. So, I will remove that trivet, dust off all of that enameling powder, keep it on that piece of magazine paper, and just be really careful not to make a mess here. Now the reason for the fold is clear. That just helps it um, crease and go right back into the container. Enameling powder is expensive, so you don't want to waste it. Throw away your magazine piece of paper after you've used it once so that the colors don't um, get mixed up. Okay, now you're ready to enamel looking super cool in your safety gear. Practice this before you try it the first time, but you lift up the screen with your spatula, and in one quick movement, open the door and set it in there and close the door. You will see that the temperature drops by about 100 degrees during that quick process. Start the timer for two minutes, and then don't do anything until that two minutes is up. Do not walk around the room or chat with a friend and get distracted. You need to pay attention. When the timer goes off, in another quick movement, open the kiln door, get your piece with the spatula, and set it on the metal countertop right next to the kiln. You will then Take your piece of enamel off of the trivet, and I just use a metal knife to do this. Um, and there it is. Don't touch it until it has cooled. That takes about five minutes. And there you have it. Your piece of enameling is complete.